say nothing. Grown ups, good evening. Oh, four of you. Oh, I'm fair enough. Right, what's that? You don't have sweets, that's all right. I've got a machine full of them there, love. Have a seat down, have a seat down, have a seat down. Last one seen down, smells of fish. Shuffling bum back, so I want you to be able to see this. You've got ball well up. Shuffling bum back, shuffling bum. Grown ups, can I just say this? This. What I'm about to perform for you, I've been doing for the past 20 years. And I do it for family audiences. The children enjoy this show, but the grown ups tend to enjoy it more. So all I'm saying is, give me 10 minutes of your attention. If you don't like what I'm doing, you can carry on the conversation. You can go to the bar, get a drink, you know, get a few, it's up to you. I can just say this, the more you drink, the funnier I get. But to me and we have to start with something for the children. So boys and girls, do me a favour. Do me a favour, gymnastics is on Thursday afternoon. All right, good. Have a seat down, have a seat down. Move right back, move right back, otherwise you're not going to be able to see. You'll sit in the front, you'll look like this. You get a sore neck, and I can see right up your nose. And it ain't funny. Some people think it's funny, but it's not. <laughs> Good. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Shush. Some magic. Hold on, hold on, not get the adults on. Right, split them down the middle, lady in the back, close your legs up. Right, okay, everyone on this side, everyone on this side say ooh. Good. Everyone on this side, party animals, say ah. It's good, it's good. Right. Why do boys fall in love? Why do birds sing so gay? Anyway, so we're going to do some magic. And a lot of people say to me Potty, because that's my name. Potty. Potty Paul. Potty Paul Henry. No, no, don't laugh. Serious. Potty Paul Henry. They say, Potty, how did you first get into magic? Well, I'm going to tell you. I got myself a microphone stand like this. And I saw my uncle non stage speaker. Have you got an equity card? No, get off this stage, please. All right. So I've got some paint in there. That's it, well done. Thank you, pleasure. So, my magic career started with my uncle Bob. My uncle Bob worked in a spaghetti factory and he had a big chopper and his job was getting his big chopper out all day long going chop, 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 chop and he chopped up bits of spaghetti about this long that was my uncle Bob's job in a spaghetti factory going chop, 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 chop cutting up bits of spaghetti about that long until one day he went wrong And he cut a long piece, he cut a medium sized piece, and he cut a short piece. Now my uncle's boss was watching out his office window and come running out and said, what do you think you've done? He was Italian. He said, what do you think you're doing? I asked you to cut into piece spaghetti. And what do you do? You cut the long piece. You cut the medium piece. You cut the nincy wincy little piece. I think you're going crazy. I think I'm the crazy one doing this. Anyway, <laughs> my uncle Bob never once gave up his even knowing a little bit of magic. He snatched back the bits of spaghetti. Shut up, that hurt. Come on. So he snatched back the bits of spaghetti, he take, took the short piece of spaghetti and folded it up into his hand. He then took the medium sized piece of spaghetti and folded it up into his hand. He then took the long piece of spaghetti and he folded it up. Oh, are you there? Okay. And then he blue, and he yellowed, and he greened, and he pinked. Think about it, grown ups. And then he wiggled. <laughs> the spaghetti and went Ooh! and he pulled on all three pieces of spaghetti that come exactly the same length. So this piece of 
which was exactly the same length as this piece of spaghetti, and everybody in the factory went wild with applause! Oh, anyone in from the council? Anyone in from the council? That's sweat. Okay. It's unusual for them. Good. But my uncle Bob was never one to give up easily. As his boss ran off, he said, Mamma mia, and words to that effect. I don't know. I was slightly racist uh, generalisations. So my uncle Bob thought, what can I do to brighten up the spaghetti? What could he do, boys and girls? He could paint them. And then it would taste disgusting, like McDonald's. Ooh. Ooh. Do you know, boys and girls, do you know there are people in this country that think McDonald's sells food? Oh, really odd. And if I hold the spaghetti down here, just like McDonald's, I can bring it back up. <laughs> yeah. So my Uncle Bobby didn't paint the spaghetti, it tastes disgusting like school dinners. So he did what I've just done. He tied them into hoops. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and anyone else that followed you in, my Uncle Bob was the world's first inventor of spaghetti hoops. But it was at that moment in time something very strange happened. Something very strange indeed. Because the three loops become two loops. One here. And one here. And the two loops consisted of a long piece, a medium-sized piece, and an incy-wincy, a little piece. I thank you. <laughs> Stick those on eBay, girls. 99p, 24.99 postage. Oh, is this? Good. So did you enjoy that, boys and girls? Good. Go back to bed. More oh, clear off. See you later. Right. I've done a magic trick for the youngsters. Should I do a magic trick for the grown-ups? Okay, oh, I'm going to need some help. Some of the grown-ups looking at me think I need a lot of help, but there we go. <laughs> it is international magician law that states we have to do a card trick. It's in the law, it's in the contract. I've got to do a card trick. Basically, I've got a pack of cards which I'm going to throw. I'm going to duck that way a bit, love. Right. No, no, no. I'm going to throw these out. Whoever catches them, really simple. All I have to do is look at one card. Now, I've got a rubber band around them, so they don't fall apart. All you've got to do is peel back some cards, look at one card in the pack, remember it, and then close the pack up. Do not show anyone around you. Just you yourself remember the number or the letter and the suit. Got it? I tell you what, everyone hold hands, let's try and contact the living. No! Have you got it? Good, excellent. Right, so uh, I'm going to go quite close for that. Sir, there. You don't mind me calling you, sir, do you? It's all in jest. Pick your glasses up, kids. Pick your glasses up. Are you going to get this? Are you going to get it? Three, no, kid, don't walk in front of me. Three, two, one, catch! Oh, oh, oh so close. Never mind. Give it to that gentleman. What's your name, sir? Chris! Chris! Fabulous Chris. Just look at one card. Peel back the corner and look at one card, not the front card. Got one? Look at it and remember it. Now Chris, do me a favour. Throw it to someone else. Far away from you, as far as you can. Let them know it's incoming. Chris has chosen a card. He's going to throw the deck. So the gentleman there is going to drop him. Let him pick him up. Well done, sir. What's your name? Pete! Chris and Chris, where are you from? Where? Manchester. Oh! We're from Manchester. I'm going to put the alarm on my car right now. I'm joking. I've been to Manchester. We did Pano in Manchester. We go back to visit the hubcaps off the van. It's wonderful. Yes, okay. Pete, where are you from? Sorry? Leicester. Land of cheese. I like it, good. I'm going to look at one card, Pete. You got one? Just one. Remember it? Got it? Now for it to someone else. Make sure they know it's incoming. Watch out for the kids. Oh, that's a far one, wasn't it? 
Sorry folks, you're not going to get involved in this one. Oh, no worries. Thank you, Chris. Who's got them there? Gary. Gary. What? I can't hear, the kids are running around. What's that? Brentwood, Essex. Oh, suddenly you've made me relax about the Manchester folk. We've got Essex in the house. Shut up. Gary, have a look at one card. Once you've got it, stand up. You're going to get the pack back to me without killing a child. If you kill a child, remember you're on holiday at Bel Air, my name's Lee Brown. Okay, good. So, I'll come again. I'm joking, I'm joking. Thank you very much. Right, so we've got three cards selected. If you selected a card, that's Chris, Pete and Gary, three chaps tonight, stand up. Just stay where you are, but stand up. And I need you to close your eyes and visualize. Close your eyes and imagine the card floating in front of you. Now, I've seen this done on television, and I've even seen that done. Derek Brown do this, and he gets two out of three, which is amazing. Here's what I'm going to do I'm going to name your three cards. If you hear your card, do nothing. Stay exactly where you are, don't give me any clue. But, when I count out three, two, one, if I've named your card, sit down immediately. Do you understand that? Of course you do, it's simple enough, isn't it? So you picked any card from my deck, the three of you. Some red, some black. Clubs, hearts, fates or diamonds. Visualize your card now. Keep your eyes closed. I think, this might be wrong, I think, keep your eyes closed, visualize. A of spades, jack of hearts, four of diamonds. If I said you can't sit down, three, two, one, now. Yes, all three sat down, give them a big round of applause. Yeah! Does anyone want the winning lottery numbers for tomorrow night? Do you think if I could do that, I'd be up here now with this lot and this lot and this lot? Goodness me. Thank you very much, thank you gentlemen. Give yourselves a big clap, the audience might clap you as well. Okay, so, for my first song tonight, I'd like to see a little number by Gareth Gates. What? We can't do that because he's here next week. Oh, what? I'd like to sing a song by Little Mix. What? They're here this week. Oh, are you getting all these cabarets in? Nick, your mum is here. Oh, I won't sing. I'll tell you what we'll do. Shush. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Will you be quiet? No. Excuse me a sec. I'm terribly sorry, folks. As you may know, it's my second night here, my second night my new job, couldn't get babysitter. Excuse me a second. Bright line! Bright line! Will you be quiet? You are making me look stupid. You don't need my help. They do not want to see you. Oh yes they do. Oh no they don't. Just stretch this out for 20 minutes and come off, can I? That's right, it's okay. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have a little chimpanzee in the box. His name's George, and he will come and say hello. Oh! <laughs> What's wrong with you? Your hand's sweaty. My hand is sweaty. Stop it, come here. <laughs> Stop it. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a nice big clap for the one and only George T. Monkey! Come on! Okay. Sorry, it looks like your dad. Okay. George? Hello! Say hello. Hello! Say hello, George. I can't make them talk. You're making me talk. 
it doesn't matter. Now listen, we are here tonight. What's wrong with you? It's a bit posh, isn't it? <laughs> it is a little bit posh. What are you doing? Uh, now listen. I'm listening. We've got lots and lots of beautiful people in the room. Say hello to all the beautiful people. Yeah. Don't be rude. We've got some beautiful people in here tonight. Stop it! <laughs> Say hello to all the gorgeous ladies. You are gorgeous. No, stop it! Say hello to all the beautiful ladies. Hello, ladies! <laughs> We're not talking to you! <laughs> Say hello to all the fellas. And now, say hello to all the boys and girls. Hello, snivellers. No, don't. Call them snivellers. Hello, rugrats. No, they're not rugrats. Hello, ankle biters. Don't. Call them ankle biters. No, you will not! These are little treasures. Bury them. No, we're not going to bury them. Now, now listen. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down! Don't. Now what do you want to say to all these people? Do you know he's got his hand? No! Do you know he's got his hand? Oi! Do you know where he's got his hand? He's right up there! Thank you! <laughs> I was going to say that! Yes, my hand is up his back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know how you can say such a thing. You're not seeing yourself, do you? No. That is very rude. Fat boy! Do not call me fat boy! I think you will, Tis. Stop it! Do not call me fat boy. Why? It's very rude. Now say sorry. Say sorry. No, it's not. Hold on, excuse me. It's not er. Uh, it's pardon. You just call me fat. Now say sorry. Potty. Yes, George. Potty. Yes, George. No, that's... That is not what I meant. Look, there's two words I can do with hearing right now. Yes, slim fast. No, not... <laughs> not slim fast. I'll have you know I've lost five pounds. Check under the tables. No, not... Don't look at me, you know. Don't look at me, you're annoying me, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna What we're gonna do is we're just gonna try and What we're gonna do is we're gonna oh, What we're gonna do tonight is 
So we're just going to try something. Yeah. 